Phillies hosting the Marlins on Thursday night. Pablo Lopez on the hill for Miami going up against Nick Pavetta. A rain delay of just over a half hour in the third inning of this one. Eventually they'd resume scoreless game in the fourth. Justin Bohr at the dish with the man on facing Pavetta. That one's hit well. Deep to right center field and it is gone. Justin Bohr with his 17th home run of the year, and the Marlins take a 2 0 lead here in the top of the fourth inning. Mention that Lopez is 22 years old from Venezuela. Strike three called on the inside corner. Swing and a miss. Alfaro is gone on strikes. We go to the top of the sixth inning. It'll be Dietrich to lead it off for the Marlins. Fastball, strike three called. He got him looking. Strike three called. He got him looking. A fastball this time, and Realmuto takes it for strike three. Two to nothing ball game. Here's Reese Hoskins. Swung on and belted. Left field and deep. Dietrich turns and it is gone. And Reese Hoskins gets the Phillies on the board. His 22nd home run of this season. And boy, did that get out quick. Oh man. Cuts the lead in half. It's now two to one. Bases are loaded. Nick does not have a career walk-off. And a little dribbler left to the mound. It's going to tie the game up. They're able to get Williams at first, but the ball game is tied. We're even at two here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And that might help Franco. Fly ball, left field. It's deep. And it is. in the National League East. Mike Al Franco his first career walk-off homer as the Phillies defeat the Marlins 5-2. Reese Hoskins and Carlos Santana each with a pair of hits. The Phillies bullpen goes three scoreless innings as Tommy Hunter gets the win. Nick Pavetta no decision allowing two runs in six frames. The Marlins have dropped three straight.